If I asked you to go to a cafe or a restaurant, what sort of scene would you imagine? I was here about a month in Graz when a friend of mine asked if I wanted to go to Ikea, perhaps look at some furniture and indeed grab a cup of coffee in the cafe. Both of us met up and we got our food and drinks. After a few minutes of conversation, we soon realised we were actually some of the loudest people in the cafe. However, we said we wouldn't allow it to put us off and we kept chatting away. A few minutes later, my 93 year old grandmother rang my phone and I spoke with her for a few minutes. After a few minutes of conversation with my grandmother on the phone, another patron in the cafe turned to me and gestured very angrily, telling me to be quiet. At first I was quite taken aback. In my own eyes I hadn't done anything wrong. It was perfectly acceptable to chat on the phone in a cafe. Indeed in Ireland, if I was speaking loudly on the phone, no one except a member of staff would make such a gesture or ask me to be quiet. And even still, I would have to be shouting the place down. My friend, who had spent some time in Austria before, understood the cultural difference. But yet, she had only come over from Ireland and showed a very Irish attitude, saying, if he wants silence, he should go to a library. However, the entire incident did make me think. Did I expect a different atmosphere? to the man who had just silenced me. Back in Ireland, cafes and restaurants are these very noisy places with machines going off, but yet they're very social spaces where one goes to have a conversation and a laugh with friends. And while they're quieter than, say, a pub, a cafe is still a place where you can be reasonably loud. However, here in Austria, I've noticed that there's a very slight difference. Yes, you can go and meet your friends, converse with them, and indeed have a laugh in a cafe. But you're expected to do so in a manner that is much quieter. Indeed, the atmosphere of cafes and restaurants is very different over here. They're much calmer and a bit more reflective. They're considered places where one can sit down, read the newspaper, and consider their thoughts about the world. Needless to say, I've become much more aware of the volume of my voice. And I try to keep my voice down, especially when I go into cafes.